This video tutorial will be using FreeCAD version 0.18. This tutorial will take us through the steps of creating this diagram showing the PVC piping for my pool. The pumps are not shown and the intake, the inlet pipes are not shown. You can see the objects here which represent the pool filter the chlorinator, Jandy valve, and other fittings such as these turquoise unions, this purple check valve, tees, and 90 degree and 45 degree elbows. Also to help uh, lay this out is the grass and a cement slab. In order to draw the parts with the correct dimensions, I'm going to use these reference materials that conform to ASTM standards and other information I found on the internet for LASCO fittings. Here we see one specific LASCO fitting for a 45 degree elbow. We're also going to take these dimensions over here on the right and we're going to put them into a spreadsheet in the FreeCAD document. We will use FreeCAD to create each one of these individual parts and then we'll pull them all together by placing them with location and rotation to come up with this final diagram. Let's take a look at the spreadsheet that I've already created for this document. I should point out if you needed to create a brand new spreadsheet, you'd go up here into the list of all the workbenches, which we will mostly be using Part Design, Part, Sketcher, and this spreadsheet. If you wanted to create a new spreadsheet, you'd click that workbench and click this icon to create a new spreadsheet. I already have a spreadsheet, um, so we'll just take a look at it right here. Even though we will be specifying inches in our document as the units of measure, it turns out that FreeCAD expects numbers in the spreadsheet to be in millimeters. So I've got a conversion factor up here. I know the number of inches that I want for all the dimensions. And I use this conversion factor to place a formula so that we know what it is in millimeters. When we enter these dimensions in FreeCAD, we can enter numbers directly, but it's a lot nicer to use variables. All these yellow cells have been assigned variable names. So if I right click on this cell, we can look at the properties and the alias. This is a variable name that we're going to be using in our document instead of typing in a number like 20.193 or whatever. 